you have no schedule anymore, right? So start getting again into uh, uh, some habits, good mm -hmm. habits, good schedule, just routines, right? The basics, very basic, right? Uh, wake up at a, a decent time if you're still working from home. I have some breakfast. Uh, maybe go for a five-minute walk from corner to corner. Nobody says to go and walk you marathon, walk you three miles. No, right? If you're working from home and you're sitting at the desk, then might as well just put a thing on your, uh, an alarm every hour and a half. Boom, get up. 10 minutes, I'm going to walk around the block, come back, back to my computer, right? You, you know what I did? I got some um, some resistance bands and just put them underneath the chair and I can, you know, do curls there. And, you know, it, sounds, it sounds silly and like how yeah. I can get that, but you know that thing, the QB or whatever, the, the, the pedal? Ah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, some type of movement is better than no movement, right? Right, that's true. Uh, YouTube, there's like a million free channels of movement, yoga, uh, fitness. But again, you know, just going for a simple walk, uh, uh, taking fresh air, uh, doing some mindful walks, uh, just some meditation, right? Meditation doesn't have to happen laying down, you know, like, yeah. oh, that's not meditation, right? That's what, in, that's what the internet says. You can go for a walk in meditation. Just listen, listen to the birds, listen to the air, listen to the cars, listen, you know, just try to analyze how many sounds do you hear, right? Just things like that, that start getting you into a habit, right? Now, once you're in a habit, it it says what? It, they tell you that 21 days uh, takes to it's build a habit, yeah. habit, right? So, hey, you're going at it, it's day four, you didn't do it, and then you forgot, start all over again. It's okay, forgive yourself, yeah. right? Because that's another thing that we're like, oh my gosh, now I have to wait until it's the first on a Monday, <laughs> right? No, that's true. There's that's true. people that does the whole thing. I know yeah. I got to wait until the month starts on a Monday and in the first, and that's the day. I believe if you're going to start a diet, if you're going to start a, a workout regime, if you, it's pointless to say, oh, I'm going to start tomorrow. No, yeah. start now, because if right now you're not committed, and that's another big word in my vocabulary here uh if you are not committed you're not gonna go tomorrow play mm -hmm. this role. you are that not so true <laughs> you are not gonna go tomorrow tomorrow you're gonna be like oh man i overslept or you're gonna snooze you're gonna be like oh i said at six but you know 6 15 i'm still good now it's eight in the morning oh shoot i gotta get up i gotta shower i gotta get in the computer you lost an hour of your day 10 minutes of walking whatever right so new and usually when you wait you actually end up finding another excuses to push it off the next day or the next week or the next month yes so and it, it the best thing literally of, is to force it to just you know yeah part of also starting is, is starting with that mentality of i'm going to commit myself right um i want to say i'm going to commit myself to eat better right that doesn't mean i'm not going to eat chocolate cake I'm just not gonna eat chocolate cake three nights a week, you know. Yeah. I I do that sometimes. <laughs> yeah. There's this place that has this amazing chocolate shake um, cake. Anyway, um, so you know, it's just, about the, the 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 moderation and cutting back exactly, slowly. Exactly. Yeah. And if one day, one week, you decide to eat three pieces of chocolate cake, that's okay, right? Maybe you yeah. needed it. You needed it. So again, just having compassion. You know, it's compassion committing to yourself uh, uh starting new habits drink some water drink water yes got my water right here uh, so I, i'm gonna get back to you on the um the question that we had earlier the importance of stretching and i wish that someone would have told me that a long time before i got multiple injuries so can you expand on why it's important to stretch? And I know you do it in a form of yoga, but you know what is the importance of that, and you know why 
do you need to take the time? We used to do it in your in your class before and after. Yeah. So well, why? so we know how the body deteriorates, right? Without movement, right? If we're sitting all the time, our muscles shorten, right? They get they get short, and then when it's time to stretch, then that's when we feel pain, right? Uh, um, the 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 importance of it, like, uh, uh, and this is just from a very personal uh, um, stand. It's the the risk of injury, right? That's uh, to me. That's kind of like the biggest uh, uh, and most important part of it, right? Because sometimes people, people think that it's not gonna happen. Uh, you're, yeah, you're, you're used to being a kid and just running and doing whatever. They say, "Oh, I'm gonna be fine because I'm strong." Yeah. Uh, a strong uh, does not relate to flexibility at all, mm -hmm. right? It, it's total different uh, realms here. And if you don't, uh, um, oh, I see that. We will give you information here in a little while. I'm getting excited. I get this heat in my body when somebody asks that question. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so. And I, would, and I would love to also join the class as well. Like I said, this is one of my favorite classes ever, so. Yay, we're going to do it. And yeah. uh, I don't know if Pamela is out in Dallas. Is she around? She's Can in we... Houston. And I think Ooh. that's why one of one of her things has been, uh, you know, actually having the time to go to the gym. And what we were talking about is, you know, you can do it right from your own home now. Yep. Oh, and, it's, and, it's and, and, and you know that my body, uh, my body weight workout, it's, it's a workout. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway, going back to that stretching, I think, yeah, it's it's very important. Why? Because to begin with, we're talking about the tendons, right? And that's where mm -hmm. most of the injuries tend to happen, right? When we're lifting and we're not stretching them enough and they're short when we're not moving, right? Uh, so from the from the, the um, risk of injury, um, it's mm -hmm. really important to stretch, right? Uh, uh, and, and also stretch the fascia, not only doing the yoga stretches or the, the gym stretches that, you know, we used to do a gym class, mm -hmm. uh, uh, but also that foam rolling, right? Yeah. It's very important to stretch your fibers uh, uh, in order for your muscles, your articulations to work better, right? Uh, I have noticed myself that uh, when I don't roll my shins, like all this part right here, my squats suck because my ankle flexion is not where it's supposed to be. Right? I was just going to say, I think that the stretching also improves performance. Definitely. I mean, yeah. it's uh, th that's the one that's related with the other. Right? I mean, it's all related, right? Yeah. Uh, 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 but the stretching part, I mean, that's why uh, NFL and in, in everybody now it's, it's, bringing you like a mandatory thing yeah. yes yeah because they and also be, uh, you know besides the, the the mindful part of it is because the the risk uh they're they're trying to lower the risk of injuries and mm -hmm. uh, i can tell you now because i i'm gonna start teaching for one of the high schools here for the football team uh as part of their uh um training camp for the summer so it's really awesome that, yeah, and it's really awesome that uh, uh, you know they 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 are acknowledging that yoga is uh, it, it was going to give you you know a well rounded uh, form of uh, workout right it's going to help you stretch uh, you've done yoga yoga gives you some cardio right uh, uh, the the stretches that you get uh, the risk of injury is going to be uh, a minimum. Right, because a range of motion is going to improve. You know, range of motion, it's super important in every sport, right? You throw the ball, you know, or you're gonna catch, or you're gonna whatever it is, your range of motion, you're squatting, you're you know, moving in different mm -hmm. planes, right? Being able to move sideways, backwards, front, right? If you don't have that coordination, if your muscles don't work right, uh, again, if your flexion is not there, um you know the, the 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 again the injury is you know your body's going to be more prone to injury right I, I just think it's it was amazing the the effects even just like you you mentioned you know not even from the the mental aspect but that's something that people don't realize is that it really does have a mental effect on you to to prepare you for 
what you're about to do and then when you're done calming you down from what you just did yeah yeah it's um you know i usually use the analogy of of you know the being flexible right uh, a lot of people tell me well you know i don't pra practice yoga because i can't touch my toes i'm not flexible enough i gotta get flexible first in order to do yoga right <laughs> that's the thought but then i started to get them to think okay so let's try something right and i'm gonna try it right now i want everybody to kind of get what i'm saying so i tell everybody right so i can't touch my toes right so bend your knees bend your knees bend your knees can you touch your toes now i am touching my toes so yes you can bend you can touch your toes right and with that what i'm saying is that if your mind is flexible your body will become flexible your body will adapt right uh, um uh, we always tend to again want to run want yeah. to run before we walk right uh we want to stretch and be able to touch the toes but the body doesn't want to do that right the body wants to do it at its own pace right yeah. the body does not want us to rush it right so we have to honor the body and that is when the whole thing with the yoga and the body and the mind, right? If you go to a yoga class or any yoga class would start, you would hear this thing, I honor your body. Let your body tell you where to go, right? If I'm here and I cannot stretch more because I, ha I know I hurt my shoulder. Oh, but you know what? The guy over there can actually bring his arm higher. So now I'm going to try. And then you get hurt. Guess what? That was your ego telling you, you got to look like that guy, right? But if you're here and you're breathing and then you come back the next day and you're breathing, oh, you're going to find that maybe you're starting to move a little more, but you're giving it time. You're allowing yourself. You're not competing with anybody right so that's when the it, it starts coming into your mind and then it's going to start affecting your performance because when you're doing your squats or if you're uh doing uh, you're do, uh, in a, a basketball game or whatever you're going to go into that set of mind of like i'm okay you know i got this i'm not gonna rush i'm Right, so you, know you, start, you, start yourself, seeing, really. you start seeing the pattern without anybody telling you that, oh, this is what yoga is going to do for you today. Oh, and tomorrow you're going to feel this way. Oh, and the next day, you, you don't see a progression with yoga. With yoga, is just like slowly starts uh, 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 sipping into your life and your mind and your body, and it just changes you. And it, it, it uh, if you're an athlete, it enhances your performance. If you're a an average joe it would enhance your performance of being the best average joe ever that will be able to stretch i mean it's just uh, uh the expansion of your mind it's amazing once you let yoga work right yeah. there are times when we resist i've been practicing yoga for years and there are days when i'm resisting and i want to like really balance and my balance is off you know, and again, it's not my body. It's my mind that is out of balance, right? It's yeah. not, it's not, yeah. A, yeah. right? I don't say sometimes we even compete with a different version of ourselves and we can't do that. So, yeah, if you yeah I mean, you be fit from before and then now you're not, or, you know, as we, as, fit, as we, as we yeah. age, right? Oh, I was able yeah. to do that before, or I was able to do it before the pandemic. Well, guess what? Yeah. Today you can't, and it's okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Sometimes we need to be told that it's OK. It's OK. <laughs> so uh, the mind is powerful. Yes, it is. It's very true. That's something that I definitely have learned throughout the pandemic, how powerful your mind is. And yeah. Perspective is huge. It takes it you change to your, it can change your life. It could take you to very dark places. And, yeah. uh, and then you can also pull you out of those dark places. Yeah. So, you know, the mind is incredible. Get a so, feed, get a feed at the right things, though. Yeah. 